Hey guys, Janet here today. Uh, so this last week I was in Arizona. My husband's family lives out there. And um, I got to do some fun things this time, which I didn't get to do before. I went to the Grand Canyon and some things like that. Um, but while I was there, um, there's a scrapbook store about five miles from his parents' house where we were staying called Scraps of Love. It's in Peoria, Arizona. And I went to this store a few years ago when I visited there. Um, they had a different location and I didn't really remember much about it. But um, this time when I went from the outside, it looked like just a little tiny store in this little tiny, tiny, tiny strip mall. And by tiny, I mean there's probably like two or three other things in this little strip of shops. But what I found when I actually got out of the car was there's a little clearance store and there's their regular store right next to each other. And both of them have decent square footage. Of course, the regular store is probably twice the size of the clearance store, but it was super awesome. So I want to show you guys what I got from there. Um, before I do, I'm just going to show you these few items. I did stop at a Joann's and a Michael's while I was in town. Um, so these few things I got from Joann's. I've had this before, but I'm going to be making some masculine cards. So I got another one of these. They were on sale, I think, for 30% off or something like that. I really liked this cute snowman paper, so I picked it up. And these are single-sided. And then I got two of these bow papers. I just love this bow paper. Um, the Joann's that they had is a Joann's Etc. So it was even better than the Joann's that I have. And my Joann's in my hometown actually has a decent su um, supply of scrapbooking stuff. But this one was better. And I really like this bow paper. And we didn't have it in my store. I would have remembered it for sure. So I got two of them. I just really liked it. So I got those few things from Joann's. And then for Michaels, I didn't really find much because I already have a lot of stuff from Michaels. But um, I did see these on the way to the checkout. They're little patches. Um, and they were, I think, at least 50% off, maybe 70. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I thought these would be cute on the fronts of cards. So for a dollar something each, I went ahead and got these. All right. So that is just the little stuff that I got from those stores. Now this store, I'll show you what I got from the clearance side first. Now all these items had like a red dot green, there was pink, orange, black. They all stood for different percentages. I don't remember them all. I think orange was 25% maybe, um, or 30%. And I think black was 25. I know red and green were the best ones. The green I think was 50% off and the red was 75% off. So First up is the Sunny Studios scene building stamp set. I have most of the other ones in this. I'll call it a collection. I don't know if it's a collection, but they have several scene building stamps like this, like with mountains and trees. There's Christmas ones, stuff like that. I have all of them except for this one. So this one's got a little fence. It's got a little mountain range. It's got a tree with grass and a bench so because it was 75 percent off i got it it was originally 16.99 so i didn't love this one enough to buy it at regular price which is why i don't already have it but at 75 percent off um yeah it was like four dollars and change probably so got that i got this katherine pooler snow day birthday i didn't realize i had the word birthday in the title when i bought it until i got back to his parents house and was looking at my stuff so um this one was half off so it was originally 8.99 and it's cute this is another one that i probably would not have bought at full price i kind of already opened it so i could kind of go through it but i can find uses for all of these papers even just the plain pattern ones i like the little snowman So yeah, it's it's okay. Again, I wouldn't have paid nine bucks for it, but you know, four fifty, why not? Then I found this honeybee paper pad, which is cute. It's called Vintage Holiday. This one was seven ninety nine, and it was fifty percent off. So I got it for four dollars. Again, it has a few cute sheets in it, and then just a lot of like tone on tones. Um. So again, for half price, I like it enough to buy it for half price. 
Would I have bought it for regular price? Probably not. I'm not in love with it that much. But there are several things in there I can use easily. Then I got a bunch of um, single pieces of paper. I like these trees. I believe I have this line probably at least in a 6x6. Six six, but this was clearance and I like the trees. So I went ahead and got it. The other side is red snowflakes. I know I have this paper at least in a 6x8 pad. It's a Simple Stories Holly Days line. I just really like the ho-ho-ho. And then it's got icons on the other side, so that's cute too. But I really like the ho-ho-ho side. This is from the same line, and it's got presents on it. This one was yellow, so um, it's got yellow across the thing there. And on the barcode. Yeah, so I don't remember what percentage that was, but I did like that one. And I actually really like this side of it, so I may actually end up using that side, although I do like the presents too. But the good thing about these is if you don't use them as the full A2 size and you use them as a panel on an A2, measuring them at four by five and a quarter instead of four and a quarter by five and a half, you can actually get six cards out of one sheet or you know, maybe three cards if you want to use both sides or something. You know, you can get a good bit out of there, so. All right, and this one is from a Doodlebug line, and you guys know Doodlebug is one of my favorite companies. It's just got little houses on it. I thought this would be good for, like, a congratulations on your new home kind of card. So that's why I got that, and then the other side is just the petite flowers. All right, next up is this Dare to be Artsy. Or no, this isn't Dare to be Artsy. It looks like it. This is actually a paper made by Scraps of Love. So this is actually made by the um, store itself. It looks like Dare to be Artsy. I just thought it was really pretty. And the thing about this one is it's called La, La, Maz La Amazing Christmas. It's got a llama title here. You guys can see. Let me bend it over here. But these colors, although they can be very Christmassy, they could also be good for a masculine birthday card. So you could probably go either way. And then there's the other side. This one is called Joyful from Cocoa Vanilla. I don't really buy too much from that, but I like the colorful stockings. And I don't have a lot of paper with stockings that aren't just red and green. So I got that one. And then the other side is just a pretty colorful dot. This is Dare to be Artsy. And this is just presents. Um, this is called North Pole Holidays. And again, it is a Christmas line, but this could easily be a masculine birthday card as well. So, and then here's the other side. It's like a film strip or something there. This one's from the Bella Boulevard line, Let Us Adore Him. It's just got the pink background with the green holly. I just really like that one. There's the back. I actually really like that, too. I'm becoming a big fan of the tone-on-tone, -tone, like, plaids and stuff. I didn't used to be, but I'm becoming a big fan of those. This is from the Doodlebug Made with Love co um, collection, and I have the uh, Queen and Company Mother's Day Shaker kit that's got the mixing thing, like the little mixer and the mixing bowl, so I thought this would be cute with that. Um, between that and my... Queen and Company homemade holidays uh, shaker kits. I've got some baking shakers, so I did get a few papers that would go with that. And then here's the other side, just some hearts. If you saw my previous videos with my Doodlebug variety packs, I did get another sheet of this paper that I absolutely love, but I bought this one in the clearance store because it was on clearance. It was literally the last sheet of it, and I just love this cupcake paper, so I went ahead and got it. And this other side, I really like this. Again, the tone on tone gingham plaid look. I've just kind of really been digging it. And then this one is from the Doodlebug Cute and Crafty. It's got all the scrapbooking icons on it. Um, I got this because it's a really good scrapbook themed paper compared to some in the past. If I do decide to scrapbook any retreats or anything that I go on, this is a really good one. But it's really cute since it's Doodlebug. It's got the sprinkles, the washi tape, like all the things that they sell. It's adorable. So got that. And then there's the back. And the last thing I got at the clearance store was this Fun on the Farm by Echo Park. It was a green dot item, so it was half off. Original price, 
was $16. So eight bucks for a full collection pack. And I have a farm shaker kit. So I know I've got a few sheets from this line, but I didn't buy the whole line. So again, for half price, I said, okay. All right, so that is what I got from the clearance store. I got these few freebies. I don't remember. Uh, one of them probably came from the clearance store. One came or a couple came from the big store. I don't remember, but I don't know if I'll ever use these. I mean, you could cut these apart and use them for something. I don't know. Oh, but this side is like a pattern. I could use that on paper. And then I got these little, there was a bin of little sequin things you could pick out. I picked green just because it was Christmas time and that's just kind of what popped into my mind. And then I got this little I don't know, it's like a kit pack or something from SEI. I don't even know if they're still in business or not. That's a really old company. But it's just got like two sheets of paper in it and these. I don't know if I'll ever use that, but it was free. All right, then I've got, I'll do my smaller items first. So this is all regular price stuff. Um, this is a Hanukkah. Um... 6x6 six six paper pad by Catherine Puller. I got this because we do have one family member that I always have to make a Hanukkah card for. And I think that the card that I made her this year was the last bit of Hanukkah stuff I had. So I got that. So I'll be set for many years. Um, that's $8.99. And then since I have an Arizona trip to scrapbook, I got these cactuses. They were $3.49, and they were just really cute. This store had a good section of Arizona stuff, which you might be saying, well, why wouldn't they? They're in Arizona. But sometimes I've gone to stores in states, and their state selection stuff wasn't that great. So I always make a point to visit local scrapbook stores when I travel. So this is an Arizona washi tape, which this store makes themselves. They have a whole line, which I'm going to show you in the paper that I got. But yeah, it's really cute Arizona um, washi tape, so I got that. I got four of these pretty pink posh little green beads. Like, I see Christmas tree when I look at this. Like, this is a good Christmas tree mixture. So these were $4.99 a piece, and I had placed an order on Pretty Pink Posh's website, and I forgot to put these on there, and I just really love them, so I got four of them. I have Christmas tree shakers that I just think these would look great in. It's like mostly shades of green for the tree, but then it's got colors in there, which kind of remind me of ornaments. So that's what I had in mind with that. And then they had their own little package shaker thing. So I got three of them. I got gingerbread houses, which I already have, but um, I love making gingerbread themed stuff. So I just went ahead and got these. They're $3.99 each. And I got these penguins. Although I have penguins, these are different and... I like them. They're very detailed. And I don't think the camera really picks it up because the closer I get, the more blurry they get. But you get the idea. And then these colorful bubble-looking gems. I just really like these. These look like a good birthday mix to me, especially a masculine one. Okay, then I got some drink items. I got some cocktail stickers. The big ones were $4.49. These little ones were $3.99. I just really liked these. Um, I don't know when I'm going to make cards that have the drink theme anytime soon. Because I still have some to sell. But they're cute for cards, for sure. And then I got this coffee one because I just love making coffee themed cards. Even though I don't drink coffee. I love the smell of it and I like to make coffee themed cards. Don't know why. But these were also $4.49. These were an excellent set of pizza stickers, and they're fuzzy. Um, I like making pizza-themed cards, too. And sometimes when I do layouts for food, when I travel, if pizza is one of those things, um, you know, it's just cute to have some things. But these were $4.99. Then I got some casino stuff. This one was $4.99. A little pricey for what it is. Um, I had never heard of this brand before. But I thought it had a lot of good little icons because um, I do have my cruise to scrapbook. So um, go to casino there. Also, my St. Kitts trip, I had casino there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm dealing with some allergy issues right now. 
Then I got two of these bingo stickers. These are amazing because I don't know about you guys if you've ever looked, but bingo stuff is very hard to find. There's not a lot of bingo scrapbook stuff out there. And in my St. Kitts trip, we did bingo by the pool. And on every cruise that I go on, I do bingo. So I have a couple bingo things to scrapbook. I got two of these because I've never seen anything this good for bingo before. And these were four bucks a piece and worth every penny. All right, then we have the paper. And I got a lot of paper, you guys. I'm going to go through the Arizona paper first, which I know may not appeal to a lot of you if you don't have an Arizona trip to do, but these papers are made by the scrapbook store themselves. So I just thought they were really neat. I don't know how much they were a sheet because they weren't priced. I, I want to say they might be $1.50 a sheet. So they might be pricey, but I'm going to use them. So I'm just going to go through these real quick. But they've got a good Southwest vibe. Some of them are very Arizona specific. Some of them Southwest. They can use for like Utah and stuff. I really like this one. And the other side has like the journaling. So it's like I got to decide. I almost bought two, but I decided not to. Did go to Sedona. So here's Sedona. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry about the coughing, guys. <clears throat> I got two of these, so I could use this side for Ariz um, Arizona. <laughs> of course, for Sedona. <clears throat> then the other side, so I can use both. Grand Canyon. So I got two of these so that I could use both. But this is what you like to see. When you travel and you go to a store in that area, this is what I like to see. A good variety of state-specific stuff. <clears throat> Arizona, Grand Canyon State. Northern Arizona which is where I spent most of my time. <clears throat> we didn't go to Southern too much. Okay, this one, I think that's all the Arizona paper. This one is, okay, so these are upside down. Let me show you the sides that I actually bought them for. This is Echo Park's new line, um, <clears throat> Little Ladybug. There's that side. I got it for the ladybug pattern side i got a ladybug shaker as well if you haven't guessed i didn't buy the whole line but i bought half of it <laughs> And then there's some randomness here because I just bought stuff that I came across that I thought was pretty. I thought this was gorgeous. It's by Paper Rose. I just think that's really pretty. There's the other side. Doodlebug's Hello Again line. And I actually got this for this black and multicolored dot side. I like that. This I thought might be good for my St. Kitts trip. Just, you know, an islandy looking paper. It's Simple Stories Flea Market. I'm not going to use that side. I'm going to use that side. Doodlebug's Hello Again line again. And I bought it for this paper. I bought two of these because I think I'm going to use them in a card class just because they're so beautiful. There's the other side. Obviously not going to use it. This is also from the same line. And I bought two of these because I'm also going to use these in a card class someday. I like that coral other color on the side, that coral orange. But I have a butterfly shaker that we might use in card class. This is Echo Park's new line, Love Notes. I actually did not buy any of this online, I don't think. Um, but I did like this. I love these colors together. The red, pink, and teal together are just beautiful. And I love these hearts. So I just got two. 
there's the other sides. But I have lots of Valentine's Day paper, so I just tried to keep myself in check and not buy extra. This is from the Fairy Garden Collection, the mushrooms. There's the other side. And here's another one from that line. I got these for my gnome shaker kit, which I have not used yet. I will at some point. I love the Valentine like chocolates papers like these. And this is from Minte Papers. And it's new. It's got 2023 on it. So it must have came out this year. Chocolate Kiss. I got this burger paper because I have a um, Queen & Company kit um, snack shack. It's got a hamburger in it. So I got that. If you haven't guessed, guys, I have almost every Queen & Company shaker kit that there is. So I... Look for papers that go with those things sometimes. I feel like I just got this recently, but I saw it again. And I'm going to do um, mug a mug shaker in one of my card classes. Probably a Christmas-themed one. We usually do one Christmas card a month, and we definitely do Christmas in July. And we just did Christmas this past November. So this, if I have another one, that would be great because I need two of them for class. So I believe I do. But this is Photo Play Snow Day this is from maja or no maybe it's maya no it's a j i don't know i've never heard of it but i loved this brown like tone on tone snowflake i just really liked it and i bought two of them because i just really liked it <laughs> it really appealed to me here's the other side I got Bella Boulevard's Birthday Bash. I believe this is a new line. I'm pretty sure this just came out recently. It doesn't, I don't see a date on it unless I'm overlooking it. But I got it for the candle side. Good primary colors for a masculine card. Because I need to make some. Here is birthday hats from the same line. This one's got pinks in it, so probably not masculine cards. Masculine colored birthday balloons. I just thought they were cute. Baseball gloves for my new baseball shaker kit. Then I visited the casino section. So I thought these dollar bills would be cute for that. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Didn't mean to sneeze in my video. Sorry about that. <laughs> Telling you, my allergies have been crazy since the middle of my trip in Arizona. Okay. Um, butterflies. Lots of pretty colorful butterflies. I really liked this one. I'm not going to use that side. I got two of those because I think we're going to use those in a class. All right, so back to the casino. Roulette is my new favorite game, and I found a paper with nothing but little roulettes on it. How cute is that? It's got, like, poker chip-looking things on the other side. Or maybe they're roulette chips, but only in black and red. But I thought that was cute. And then all these, like, cut-aparts. These are made by the, the scrapbook store. These are made by Scraps of Love, and they were made this year, so they're new. But look, there's bingo cards. Didn't I tell you guys bingo is hard to find? So they've got bingo cards, little bingo numbers. Other just, look at these little cash out vouchers. Like this is a very, very cute paper. And there's the other side. And look at these cute little slot machines. And guys, look, bingo paper. I have never seen bingo paper. Like, this is great. I bought two of these because, like I said with the stickers, you don't see bingo very often. Not going to use that side. But look at these. I wish they had more colors because the bingo balls also have, like, pink and green and stuff in them. But that's all right. Then I found this bingo card paper. Cartabella had a similar one of these, but it had, like, colors. It was more colorful in the family game night line which is also getting harder to find but um i went ahead and picked this one up even though it's kind of neutral but it's got bingo cards on it so it'll definitely work well for my purposes there's the other side which i don't care about 
I got these little baking, like decorating bags because one of the shakers in my baking kit is a little decorating bag just like this. So I actually already have this paper, but I got another one because I already used half of the other one. I got this cat paper because it's just really cute by Paper Rose. And I got these wine papers. I I may have bought these on scrapbook.com because this is Photo Plays. It's one of their newer lines. The paper's called Wine Tasting. The collection's called Vineyard. I think I may have already bought it because I can't imagine that I wouldn't have because these are great winery colors. But um, I really liked those. So I have a shaker kit with wine bottles and a glass so I can use it for that. I also did go to a little winery when I went to St. Augustine last year, which I have not scrapbooked yet, which I can use for that. So I just really like those. So I got two of them. And last but not least, I got this wreath set or wreath paper from Let Us Adore Him by Bella Boulevard because I just like the little wreaths. And there's the other side, the little branches. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's a little lengthy, but I apparently bought a lot of stuff while I was there. But I do encourage you when you travel to visit local scrapbook stores, because if you haven't noticed, they are becoming few and far between. They just can't stand up against the big box stores. Um, <clears throat> the ones that do are just like the really active ones that are doing classes and stuff like that, which this store also does do. So good for them. And I'm really happy that I found some items that were unique to me, like these bingo stickers I love. Just love them so much. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And if you found anything fun or neat, or if there's any local scrapbook stores in your area that are still standing and still going strong, let me know in the comments below. Because along my travels, whenever I go somewhere, like I said earlier, I do always try to go to a local scrapbook store if I'm close enough to get there. And sometimes I'll plan my trip around it. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you know of one where you live so that if I visit that state, I can check it out. So until next time, I will see you guys later and have a great day. Bye.